Hughes has been supporting Arsenal since uh, 1887, oh, haven't you? I certainly have, yes. <laughs> you, missed the, you missed the first season. <laughs> <laughs> but he was there after that. After yeah. that. yeah, he's the longest, uh, the longest serving Arsenal fan. He used to get the steam train down to Woolwich. Yes, yeah. I certainly did. And quite often so- swim back after. <laughs> <laughs> I used to actually uh, clean Herbert Chapman's bear. Because it's little known fact, Herbert <laughs> Chapman was given a bear by Stalin when Arsenal played in Moscow. Uh, they were inseparable. <laughs> and uh, I used to clean out the bear pit. Oh, you cleaned the bear, but you didn't actually clean the bear? Well, n- occasionally I had to. What you said was, in. I cleaned the bear. Well, you know, the bear. That, it's not exaggerating. Not exaggerating in any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> Why should it be? Now, back to my first job at the Arsenal, I was a trainer. I had to rub in Captain Jellico Johnson's Peruvian <laughs> muscle powder into their knees. <laughs> Of the players, <laughs> I, I rub so hard I've got a nub now. I haven't got things; it's just nubs. What's, what's a nub? <laughs> it's more like it's like a stub. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Hello, Alan, and I'd just like to say, Manish Tana Halila Hazay Michal Halelot, which is your actual Hebrew, which means why is this night different from all other nights? As you know, I like to carry a bit of Hebrew on the hip, and there it is. <laughs> There's a reason why you've got some Hebrew here. I have, you? because it's Passover night. I don't know if you know that, Andy. Uh, yeah. Ian Stone uh, is here with us. Hello, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say in English. <laughs> I'm going to spend every, all my waking moments now talking. I'd, what are you talking about, Keith? <laughs> Wait, why were we so bad? Well, you know how superstitious I so I didn't have the radio on. I wasn't putting teletext on, so I get the your, the phone goes. And I think, oh, do I look at it? Do I look at it? No, I won't look at it. Yes, I do. Oh, one nil down, we're woeful. Oh, Christ. Well, I? you won't watch football on TV, will you? No, no. Why no. don't you watch football on TV? Because <laughs> it makes me tense. I'm bad enough when I'm watching it down No, no, it isn't just that, though. There's some, <laughs> there's some other thing, though, isn't there, where there's some, there's some superstitious thing where you will not watch Arsenal on television. No, because we lose, right? If I put the radio on, bang, they've scored a goal the opposition you know, five times that's happened this season that he, he equalised and you think it's because of you yes you know what that is that's magical thinking <laughs> well, it might google be. it you think that you're having an influence on things outside I'm your own saying, sphere you, can't, want, you don't even control your life in your own house I don't want that influence though Al do I you know so I'm but you haven't to... got the influence well you say that well, how comes every time I turn the radio on Addy by all gets a goal West Ham it does and that's not Thank what happens God. it's happened once and you think it happens no, every time it's happened four times I turn the radio on bang they score it's already gone this. down from five to four in well, one minute. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not counting the equaliser that West Ham Every time got. I said you'd come round and watch the match, oh no, I can't come round. I'm and what happened? The time I was coming round, I was one road away from where you, when we was playing Villarreal. <laughs> they get a penalty. I had that's, to stop the car. That's I had the to clincher. Your house. Yeah, we, the... we did not have a penalty against against Villarreal because you were one road away from my house. <laughs> if I'd have stepped through that door, <laughs> Jens Lehmann would never have saved that. I am responsible for getting. This is absolutely true. You know, this is true. We were, were at my house for that game. <laughs> no, I wasn't at your house. I had to go out in the street and tell him that Jens Lehmann had saved the penalty because he wouldn't come in the house and watch it. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. think it's reasonable. There's loads of gooners Keith, listening to this why don't who you... will sympathise. <laughs> so when was the last time you watched a game on TV? Well, the Olympiacos one because it didn't really matter, you know. Uh, oh, I'm, we lost uh, that. Yeah. Thanks. And we, and we lost <laughs> There you and go. That was you. <laughs> so thank you very much. That was down to me. No, no but Keith, <laughs> why, can you, why do you think you have any influence over I'm these events at all? I'm not saying I do. I'm just well, saying. Well, if you're it saying happens. you don't. I don't really want it. If there's a shaman I can go to and have the curse lifted, no, you don't have to have the curse really. lifted. <laughs> there isn't a curse. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to us. How can you say it isn't a curse? You don't think I enjoy it. Because we lose games that you don't watch on TV as well. Well, not that many. And what about you won't ever watch a game, you won't ever video? Tape the game, are you? Why, no. why, why not? Because uh, Littlewoods Cup final against Luton Town. That was the first game I played. 1987. Bang, 1988. You should know better. You've been yeah. the fans since 1904. Yeah. So I've never seen that. That's the first game he's ever videotaped. We lost 3 2. What happened? He went home. Threw a can of beer at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, got in bed and fell asleep. No, you <laughs> didn't. You rewound it. I rewound it and ta- put it on record, record and taped over, taped the, entire over the entire tape. Game, right. Right. And you've never taped a game since? Never taped a game since. I didn't know he was this <laughs> mental. Oh, I'll get on a coach. You can come stay at ours if you like, sleep on a couch. No, I've got to be at home the next way, but I'll get on a coach. I'll come with. Because she's going to be at synagogue all day, and that gives me nothing to do, so I might as well go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm married to a Jewish woman. What can you expect? You're yeah. not married. Well, technically, You're I am. You're still married to that American bird. No, I got divorced from that squirrely bitch. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this don't go out in Canada, does it? <laughs> Fucking man's marsh. Oh, uh, right, mate. It's because he's French and he talks the truth and they don't like it because they're thick English... 
How many other French players, people do you like apart from the ones who play for Arsenal? <laughs> How many? <laughs> Not like the in Gerard Hurst. Depardieu. What? Yeah. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> He's never made a comment about, about Arsenal's tackling. He's made some good films, though. <laughs> Gerard Depardieu. Yeah. There's a French person I like. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair enough, really. I think we can all agree that we like Gerard Depardieu. do. I've got a whole collection of French films. Yeah, it's fair. not dodgy it's ones. Good. I love that it took me. Off. <laughs> <laughs> I had to have a little moment and a real frown, <laughs> and then <laughs> Gerard Depardieu. <laughs> No Northerners in the Emirates. Yeah. Some of them can go in that corner. They take their shirts off and stand there. Together. Oh no, that is just, that's got to stop. Wrong with that's them. Just, nakedness is wrong. <laughs> well, in a stadium, it is. Come from, on, in, you know, in, in, in your in, darkened living room. I met Stan Cronkier down at Leon C. <laughs> ah, there you see. Now you're then. listening. Yeah. Oh, no, you didn't tell us, Keith. Ah, and what yeah, were you well, saying? Down at the cockle shed. Yeah, but we. <laughs> see, that's down at the cockle shed. Oh, yeah, tell it, Keith. Tell it. Go on. <laughs> He knocked out John Terry. <laughs> see, you don't, see, you don't believe it. Oh, you're going to get a chance. <laughs> you're going to I'm buying you time to think what the hell you're going to say next. <laughs> no, I know. After what you got this ludicrous opening about meeting Silent Stan Cronker at Leon C. Hey, you've never speaks to anyone. You've never been to Leon C. Oh, yeah. And you wouldn't recognise si- Silent Stan Cronker if he was sucking you off. I, I think I would, Al. <laughs> <laughs> I do know what Stan looks like, and I met him. <laughs> Top of his and head. It's not so, go on, what was he saying? Well, actually, he'd gone, he gone to uh, Battlebridge yeah. Antique uh, Fair. Uh, he was looking for some snuff boxes for his wife and his driver, Kenny, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Kenny, his driver. driver. Yeah, Kenny, his driver. He's got the ring of truth about says, it. Do you yeah, like yeah. some seafood? So he takes him to Leon C. I'm going down to Leon C, taking me old mum down. You don't have to go to the coast just to get seafood, do you? Well, it does help, right? Because it's closer. <laughs> so, so I'm down at Leon C and I met Stan. Keith Dover comes right? to me. Uh, uh, I what say to him? utter bollock. <laughs> it's not bollock. When you said I met... Arsene Wenger. Did I say, oh, that's... I've got some photograph! Well, we I got... might have, but he's camera shy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I didn't want to intrude. I'm not, you know, starstruck. I don't say, Stan, here's a picture of me. You know, I'm not Anyway, like go on. What did he say? He said, sometimes the bear eats you, sometimes you eat the bear. <laughs> that's what he said. In, in that, response to anything, or just said that to you? Oh, Keith, I'd just, just like to say to you, sometimes the bear eats you, sometimes you eat the bear. Yeah. And then he left. And then Do you know left. what? He's better off staying silent, isn't he? Well, <laughs> no wonder he's silent. People probably think he's mental. <laughs> what are you? See? Did he say it in English or Hebrew, Keith? Uh, I'm just wondering what he's on about. I try to bring a bit of light, a little bit of culture, some education here, and this is how you respond. Yeah. And then he walked yeah. off into the... With a crab stick in his hand. With a crab stick in his hand. And as club president, any time this, this year, right, uh, there's any mention in the paper, I think they go, I think Barcelona and Real Madrid are good clubs. I tell you what I do, I get the club shirts of Real Madrid and Barcelona, throw it down in the dressing room, piss on it. I go, next time I read anything in the papers about you wanting to go to Barcelona, you wear that during training. That's, that's what I <laughs> you would wear do. The you shirt. wear the pissy yeah, shirt. Yeah, the pissy shirt of Barcelona or Real, whichever. Le yeah. shirt de pisse. Yeah. <laughs> That's correct. Born under the North Bank, raised by foxes, weaned on vixen milk. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what vixen milk tastes like? No idea. <laughs> TCP, Alan. Really? Yeah, you bet your life you'd know where it tastes Is like. Is that where they got it from, TCP? Yeah. You milk a, a vixen at the right age, yeah. and it tastes just like TCP. Does it really? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> My first words were, peanuts, roasted peanuts. <laughs> Because yeah. I was born in the North Bank. And Ian Stone is here as well. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> I've never had Vixen milk. The I got voice of sanity and reason. <laughs> I know. Nobody's ever said that to me before, but yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Ian be. was raised on Savlon. <laughs> Well, you know what bread t- on rye bread. Do you know what that tastes like? <laughs> no. <laughs> Vixen milk. <laughs> it's very puffy, <popular. laughs> Oh, dear. <laughs> This is one from Edmund Moriarty, which doesn't sound real, mm, frankly. Really? Good, good. It sounds a little bit like Arthur Conan Doyle. <laughs> Might have come up with that name, but anyway. Uh, is that the right name, Arthur Conan Doyle? Did yes. he write it? Yeah. yeah, 220 Baker Street. Uh, 221B. 221B. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> yeah. Dr. That's, Watson. That's he had right. to study it for Jonathan Creek. That's right. <laughs> Moriarty was the villain. Yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well, I thought if we're going off a tangent, let's keep it going. <laughs> Anyway, this chap comes in, the brother of the woman I'm working for, and he goes, off. Oh, so you got the scum working for you? I'm thinking, hang on, mate, artisan, I'm a carpenter. Then I've realised, <laughs> right, 
you know, he's clocked the van, which is decked out in Arsenal memorabilia, obviously. Right. It's, got so, a, it's got a cannon on a roof. In fact, the, Arsenaliz- <laughs> the Arsenalisation of the van. Yeah. <laughs> Turns going. out, he's a Spurs fan, so obviously I'd take, you know, special um, needs, he's a bit simple, so <laughs> you take that into account, right? But, this is interesting, and the man, who, man of the is house it? said to me <laughs> that his brother-in-law, <laughs> right, bought his son on his seventh birthday a uh, Tottenham kit. And he said to this guy, he says, you've got two choices. I can watch you take that Tottenham kit back to the shop and get your money back, or you can watch me burn it. Now, as you've got children, that is word to the wise, right? <laughs> take that man's example. I met Alicia, you, you know Usmanov. Yeah. Oh, but would you meet him down in South End, Keith? That's ridiculous. Of course I didn't. He said, <laughs> <laughs> No, that's, see, that's <laughs> stupid, isn't it? Leon C. No. I met him at the Epping Forest Owl and Hawk Sanctuary. <laughs> Thank you very much. Because I've got an insider in the gift shop. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and apparently... <laughs> what did he say? See, once again, shoot the messenger. What did he say? What did he say? He's into owls. He loves owls. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. He it's looks just... a bit like an owl. He exactly. Actually, he can <laughs> swing his head round 180 <laughs> degrees during a game. David Dean was there. We weren't even looking happy because he's going, this is the third owl sanctuary he's dragged me along to this week. Right? <laughs> so he wasn't exactly, you know. But Usmanov does like an owl. And he just likes admiring them. <laughs> but this is the thing, Al. Right? Yeah. He was looking at the owls, Al. Yeah. Anyway, one of them, he's put his finger in just to sort of give it a shot and he's bit him. And he went, ow, ow. So there you go. But, how funny. Yeah. <laughs> she's lovely. For you fellow. made that last bit up. I did, really, How yeah. funny. You like, made the last oh, no, bit up. no, because your name was Alan and I thought yeah. I'd get a bit of, you know, It didn't get play. bitten and go, ow. No, he didn't, but he does like He'd an say owl. something else because he's from Uzbekistan. Yeah, but he's got a large collection of them, but he doesn't kill them and stuff them. He waits till they die naturally and then he gets some stuff. But, you know, that's <laughs> what... He has got the looks that appeal to both genders. Yeah. <laughs> and foxes. <laughs> Man.